Hey, hey everyone, it is five o'clock and it's Sunday, so it's time for So Sweet Sunday. Well, guess what? Christmas is over and um, it's hot, it's hot. Hence why I have on sleeveless. Um, I went and ran an errand really quick and it was hot. So let me just share the real quick and then I'll tell you about it. I will finish telling you about it. You all had a very good holiday. Um, my, hold up. Trying to make sure these are the right ones. I went out of order. That's what happened today. I think that's all. Um, I usually do a beginner's, the embroidery 770 and um, PE 800, but since I'm on my multi needle today, I won't do that. Oh, one more. I know what it is. We have with us so far we have mom hey mom hey look kendria hey oh who's lm jones hey lm jones hey peggy hey phyllis hey marla hey nadine hey april hey letty so you guys guess what um i'm gonna have to get my ring light because the light is not cooperating with me the sun is coming from that way and it's casting a strange shadow but I'll do that once we get started I want to tell you all what we're going to stitch today um definitely right now all of your holiday orders should be done because Christmas was yesterday so your Christmas order should be done so today guess what a good thing to start on is things that people got for Christmas and they want you to stitch on and with that being said I woke up this morning and I came in my sewing room and I saw a bag on my chair. It's not my bag. It's not my bag. Um, it's definitely my sister's bag. So, my sister and Kara, they are one and the same because you know what they do? When they want me to stitch something for them, they just come and they put it on my chair. Like, she'll get the memo. She'll know what to do. She'll stitch it out for us. They just put it on my chair. So I came in the room today and I found this bag. My mom got this bag for my sister for Christmas. It is a craft bag of some sort. I cannot remember exactly what it holds. If you know, tell me. It holds one of her, I think it's, um, I don't know, it might be her printer, her Cricut stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure what it holds, but nonetheless, it's like a craft bag. It's super cute. And um, she wants something stitched on it. So guess who has to stitch something on it? Me. And lucky her, lucky her, it opens up well enough. Let's see. Let's look at this bag first of all. What is this? I don't know. I, don't, I have to find out and repost it or what they, where they got it from. I have no idea. It's not a diaper bag. I think it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's a craft bag of some sort. So why this would not work out on a single needle, let me tell you. Because it has this mesh pocket right here. And then it has this front pocket pocket right here. This is where it's upside down. This is where she wants this thing stitched. And I thought about like up here. I mean, maybe you could do it up here on a single needle. I'm crazy enough to try it, but um, it doesn't it doesn't flip inside out as well. So with that being said, this front pocket opens up. And could you do it on the front pocket? Yes, you could. But if you're doing it for a customer. You would have to let them know that this pocket would be no longer functional because it would stitch it closed. Because I don't think you could do, you couldn't get it in there enough to not get it to stitch closed. So I chose to do it on my multi needle, and I'm gonna just unzip this little piece right here, make sure it stays out of the way when I stitch, and go to town. Who has joined us since the last time I said hello? Hey, Ellen. 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 Hey, Ellen
Allen. Hey, Lisa. Thank you, Letty. Hey, Pavette. Hey, Mavis. Um, I think I said hey to Marla. Yep, I did. So, nonetheless, that's what we're going to do today. Let's turn to the... Did y'all overeat? Did y'all... Be honest. Did y'all overeat? Did y'all overspend? I didn't overspend, but I definitely overate. I definitely overate. We did not have a traditional... So, that's why I'm going to keep turning the camera so that y'all can't see my little tummy that, that I have produced over the last couple days. Um... I definitely over ate. We didn't have traditional food. We had oxtails. We had macaroni and cheese. Uh -oh. We had pecan pie. Now that was my fault. I was in Costco and at the very last minute. I decided I wanted a pecan pie. I don't know why because we had the same one for Thanksgiving and I didn't love it. But I liked it enough. All right. Listen. Now I know. I know. I know. I know. First of all, I'm just sliding it right on here. I'm using my hoop tech clamps, and I know somebody is going to say, but Alexis, there's no stabilizer. Like, every so often, let me look at y'all. Every so often, I will stitch something and not use stabilizer. This is the every so often. And because it's just, it's thick enough, it is not going to move. But, rule of thumb, technically technically especially if you're a beginner and you're not sure throw a piece of um tear away on there because this is you know if you wear it don't tear it but this you know it's not wearable so you're going to just use a tear away technically okay that's my disclaimer if if you're just starting out throw a piece of stabilizer me personally i'm gonna forego i'm going to forego stabilizer okay all right Come under the comments. Alexis, but you didn't. But you, and I'm going to say, I sure didn't. <laughs> and, and what? No, I'm going to say I didn't. So I'm just pulling the hoop out some so that I can get it on there. Uh-oh. My bad. I pulled, I pulled it out then pushed it right back. Um, I want it out about that far. And then guess what, y'all? I, I don't know what I've been doing lately. Probably not paying attention as much as I should be. Because I have hit every single one of my needles, okay? Like I've hit them up against here or something else that I've stitched. And I have bent them. Not just the needles, but the, the feet. So, let's see. I think the only one that I have not bent so far. It's one. Maybe maybe one, three, and four. I don't know. But the needle, I gotta go. I'm gonna get it serviced soon. Um, yeah. Yep. One, three, and four. So my baby's gonna need some work after a while. Alright, so I have already I've done a little pre-work, you guys. A little pre-work. I know you haven't seen the design yet. It says Crafty B, because that's the name that she wants to do her um, business stuff under. So she wants that under here. Um, this window that I'm using is a three by, I believe it's five hoop tech clamp. Hey, dad. Um, uh, yes, but a three by five and I've already measured out my sides, kind of, but like I said, this one, uh oh. I'm like nervous about this because I told y'all I have already hit this like several times. I don't even know what happened. I don't know what happened, but it, it I almost just lost it when I did it. I'm making sure underneath that I have that little mesh part that I have it out of the way. Um, but we're pretty much good to go. The reason, like if I would be using a stabilizer on it, it's mainly just to make sure that if I make a mistake, the stabilizer gives it a little bit of a cushion so that if you have to um, grab a seam ripper, you, you're not ripping right up against the, um, the project. Okay. Hey, Tina. Hey, Shayna. How are y'all? Hey, Michelle. So, but yeah. 
crafty bee. So stay here till the end, and then you'll get to see exactly what the design is. And I think I'm okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Pretty sure I'm good. Listen, all it takes is one good time for you to mess around and... <laughs> and hit these well apparently it takes three times because i've done it three times but you you get paranoid and i did two of them in one day i don't even remember what i was working on so the first one we're only using three colors white black and yellow because there's a little bun a little bumblebee on there it is a nine minute stitch this is gonna be this is gonna be fast this is gonna be really fast this is not gonna be a long so sweet sunday so Maybe we'll just chit chat and make it go a little slower. All right, you ready? Once again, check, make sure nothing is underneath there. Okay. Hey, Carol. Hey, Samantha. Bumblebee's body. Can you see? Let's see. Facebook, but he's back. I think we might have everybody on here. Yo, you know what? I need to post some pictures of Cannon. Cannon has been with me for the last week. We have survived each other. Um, I think he only needed one tune-up. Maybe one tune-up this time. If you all don't know who Cannon is, Cannon is my nephew. He's all boy. And he's three years old, so just take what you need from there. And um, he's, he's all into some trucks right now. He's all into, I got him a Paw Patrol watch for Christmas. And he's in love with it. What else? What else has Mr. Cannon been up to? Y'all know my baby. She just turned 14. This was my first Christmas away from her. She went to um, a lake cabin. 
moving with her dad. And um, she had a good time. Well, they're still gone. But from when she called me back, they had a good time. And then what else? Uh, what else? Oh, and then Riley, Miss Riley, she went and she visited. That's my niece. She visited with her dad. Y'all hear that? See, it gets close. Even though I checked it. Ah! Okay, that's all. Um, I knew it was gonna be that one area. But um, she went and visited with her dad and her, her other grandparents, and she stayed. I kept asking her, you Riley, you ready to come back? No, no, no. She wanted to stay because they were going shopping. She went shopping for Christmas, so. Smart girl. So The girls, they just, they just wanted to hang out. They did not want to do Christmas at home this year. And I don't blame them. Yes, Jeff, that definitely is. I, I knew it was going to tap just a little bit, so uh -oh. So I wasn't too, too concerned. What really concerns me is like when this piece right here or this piece over here, it hits and it pushes those back. Like right now, technically, I need something to really push that back into place, but it won't. It's not staying. Cannon said he wants to play with his friend. Y'all, Cannon, we built the fire. Cannon is super smart, first of all. We had a campfire. No, we built a regular fire. And he said, oh, it's a campfire. So we're like, yeah, it's a campfire. And since he loves fire trucks and everything fire, like that boy was not afraid of the fire or nothing. He kept going, get more sticks to throw on it. And um, I let him get the water hose and put it out at the end that just made his whole night. And then he kept wanting to race. Like we tried to burn his energy out. It did not work. He still was full of energy. What else? My mom is recovering really well. Um, she is, she and my sister are at her house for a little while. Because she's been here since the day that she had surgery. So she wanted to go home for a little while. So that's where she is. doing really well. Oh, and I was able to take her staples out. Don't don't tell the doctor. But um, we were in the room and the nurse let me take the staples out because, you know, that's my thing. I love doing stuff like that. I love ortho type stuff. And while I'm answering, you can be typing this in. What kind of machine do you have? So Samantha asked, Samantha said she's new to embroidery and she wants me to explain the academy to her. Um, also, if I have some academy members in here, please hashtag academy. And then whatever I miss, just kind of give her a, a good little why you enjoy the academy blurb. But for the main part, So Sweet Academy is a safe learning work with the brother series I use the PR655 and the PE800 to do a lot of different stitch out um, so you have a single machine okay so to do a lot of different stitch out type items I do shirts I do sweatshirts I do bags towels just everything you name it um, it's a monthly membership you can cancel at any time you can do you can sign up monthly or either annually i think i have the um i think i have it in there but okay, okay I have to do. 
But um, but we work on all kinds of items. We meet every Tuesday at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for either a, um, a stitch out or like a learning tutorial. I have modules that you have access to. You can watch 24 hours a day from the comfort of your own home. And I highly, highly, highly encourage you to right, watch them at the same time as you do your, your stitch out. So you see everybody in here kind of chiming in. Hashtag Academy. Those are a lot of my Academy members that I have, I have in here lately. You can ask them. I've been giving out homework. You get homework in the Academy. Um, what did we do the last two weeks? We, I don't have it in here, but we did the hat. You know, the cool, super cool hat with the leather piece on the top of it. We did that in the Academy. We have a module on there for how to stitch the, the hat, how to do the placement. Um, and as a matter of fact... At the beginning of the year, our very next unit that we're going to be working on is going to be all things applique. So I told them this year we're going to try it a little bit differently and have a monthly... Oh yeah, we did this, the zipper bag. As a matter of fact, you guys have homework. It just posted in the academy to remind you all for the homework. They got an extra extension week because of the holiday. So um, they did a zipper pouch from Drop Dead Threads. And we downloaded it. We all purchased the file, downloaded it, and then stitch that out but our first unit is going to be all things applique so the very first what so january we're going to start with applique on either the multi-needle and the single needle we already have a ton of modules in there on it but we're going to start going you know through the whole gamut of it i work with so what pro and i'm learning in brilliance as we go so it's fun is it homework or really skill reinforcement? It's both, Letty, because sometimes people in the academy haven't tried it before, so they will be doing um, they will be doing it for the first time after we do a stitch out. And for the ones that have done it, like for example, I'll use Shirley for for a perfect example. She has done the zipper pouches before, and when I did the zipper pouch on our last Tuesday. I had never done a zipper pouch, so it was great to have someone in there. We have all levels. It was great to have someone in there. Um, it was Tammy and Shirley to have them in there that was like, okay, no, I do mine this way. I do mine that way. So hers was more like a skill reinforcement, kind of like what you said, but then the other ones, it was more of a tutorial. They, they post their questions, post their videos, and uh, we hang out and have fun for the main part. This light is driving me crazy, y'all. Hold on. Um... And Samantha, that's exactly the same ones I have. I have Embrance Essentials and Enthusiast. Okay. So, all right, before I show you all, can I just turn the light on real quick? And I'm going to stand up because I told y'all I over ate a little bit. And the last time I had on this outfit, it was not this snug. So when I sit down, it's not as forgiving. So I'm kind of working with my angles here because y'all will not have me on camera a year from now looking like some busted can of biscuits in my outfit. <laughs> Did that make y'all laugh? Okay. I've just been relaxing. I'm gonna do my hair tonight. I'm probably gonna take my hair down and um do some other kind of a protective style. Am I am I making y'all wait long enough? Am I back? Am I am I making y'all wait? Okay. If you're back and forth, join us. Um, are the classes via Zoom? Yes, ma'am. They are via Zoom. So it's like you, you have real-time conversations with me. Crafty B. Crafty B. So I merged. And as a matter of fact, I use um, In Brilliance to do this one right here. And I'm trying to go, think. The, the font is do me a favor when i say the font someone write it down and i'm going to go and put it in the notes at the at the end the font is designs by juju springtime springtime sunshine it's beautiful. So, okay, funny, funny, funny story. You know how I usually do the hint part? 
I was gonna do my sister is a B B E E. That was gonna be the hint, but I was like, ooh, that maybe, maybe not. Like you gotta you gotta watch the whole thing to really understand it. That was gonna be what I was gonna put in the notes, but I think I changed it. So this is what we have. This is my sister's bag. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't do it all the way across here, um, I just, I didn't want to go across these lines right here. I didn't want to go too far outside of those lines. Um, I could have used the 4x4, four four, but I had the 3x5 on there already. And I was like, you know what? Let's just put it small and discreet there. Initially, I was going to put it up here, but I just, I liked the down here area. Um, and like I said, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go too far outside of there. But if I wanted to butt it right up against here, I could have used the 4x4 four four and just gone outside of there. I used no stabilizer but if you guys are going to do this on your own i highly suggest using tear away stabilizer for something like this um seems yes jeff that's exactly what i was what i was avoiding because the seams make it a little more wonky and you know just, it's just hard to stitch over the seams so if you have a strange bag make sure you let your customer know so this is y'all know my you know my rules so if i'm doing something for family my stitch, my rules, okay? I do whatever I want, whatever I want. I choose, unless they're, unless they are, it's a paid order, I do what I want. But since that was the case, that's why I chose to do it this. I did the, I chose the color, I chose the design. She said she wanted Crafty B. I did it. But if this were an order, I obviously, if they wanted it across here, I would have given them my creative suggestion, creative judgment, and let them know maybe you should consider going smaller but if they insist, then I would stitch it across the whole thing, okay? Um, so, April, I kind of went over that at the beginning of some places. If if you did try it on a single needle, um, where you would put it. And, I mean, it's, this one's a difficult one. If I did it on a single needle, I would probably only attempt it right in this little area right here. I would use um, a lot of pins a lot of sticky stabilizer but I wouldn't be able to do it on this pocket without closing it so if I use this front pocket I would instruct the customer that this one this front pocket right here would no longer be functional so you definitely can do it but you would just have to be honest and tell your customer and sometimes when you tell them that you just have to let them know it's not gonna be functional and they're, and they're like okay that's fine because um, you know, they just, they want the, they want the embroidery there more than they do that pocket. And plus, like, she has plenty of other pockets, technically. Okay? That would be the only place I would do it. Um, other than maybe right here. So, let's see. Under a machine. I mean, maybe, maybe here. But this would be with a lot of finagling and prayer. Make sure your prayer life is in order if you do that one because <laughs> that one might give you a little fit. But this isn't the typical. I, I wish somebody, if, if somebody does like the paper crafts and stuff, you probably know what kind of bag this is and what this holds. My mom knows. She got it from my sister for Christmas. I just can't remember. It has something to do with the, um, she has the Cricut 3, Cricut, something like that. So it has to do with some, some of her stuff like that. But she ordered it off Amazon. You definitely just put it on, throw your crafts in here, and go, okay? But that's all, y'all. That's literally all I have today. Um, hey, Caitlin. But I am, unless you all have any other questions, I'm going to turn this light down, and then I'm going to go, because it's hot. It's hot. Why is it hot? Why is my camera hot? Hey Charlotte. Um, but yeah. Other than that, that's all. If you're still on the fence about the academy, join us. It is no contract, no none of that. You cancel at any time. Hop in there. I do ask that you don't just hop in and hop out. You know, if you, if you're gonna come and be friends with us, be friends with us. You know, don't just don't just run away from us. Um, like I said, we meet every Tuesday. We're not gonna meet this Tuesday because. It is the last Tuesday of the year, and it's right in between the holidays. A lot of the Academy members are traveling, um, and we're, we're very consistent. I think we only missed maybe one Tuesday this year, so I figured I would give them the night off. 
if they miss the Tuesdays that we usually are in there, they can just hop in and watch the replay. I usually load the replays into the modules area. Um, and then starting at the beginning of the year, we're doing all things applique. All right. Remember, what is enthusiast used for? Ooh, Zoran, that's Okay, so short answer, I would like to say, I don't know. But long answer, so enthusiast is, um, it's like the extension part of in brilliance. You know, within brilliance, you have to buy the different levels of it for the different things that you can do. I found that when I upgraded to the enthusiast portion of it, I could, I could do more with my, um, with my editing and moving the letters around and, and you can already type the letters in with the BX font, but I could do a lot more edits with it. So I, I y'all know me, I'm very honest and transparent. I don't know everything about every software. I too am learning, um, enthusiast as I go. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome on-screen editing, um, platform. I am more well-versed in So What Pro, but if you're going to get in brilliance, to be honest, you need enthusiast. Um, and then from there, I'm going to start looking into Stitch Artist next because I want to be able to do some more like modifications to my files and stuff. Um, how is that embroidery machine? I wanted to switch over to a multi -meter. I love it. I love this one. I too would like to switch two reasons because I've kind of I've been mean to this one. I have bent a couple of the feet. I'm gonna start fanning myself. Right? It's really hot. Um, so I've bent a couple of the presser feet or the the stitch parts on here, but it did not render it unusable. But I like it because it has the free arm. It has the free arm. I use it with my hoop tech clamps. I use it with my, my mighty hoops, and then I also, from time to time, use my factory hoops that come with it, okay? Feet swap out easy. Oh, that is so good to know, Jeff, because I thought we were going to have to, I thought we were going to have to just buy a whole new machine. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that if I had the money. I want, you know, I want, y'all know, I want that new one. Santa forgot to drop me off the new machine, but it's not, it's not too late. He might circle back around. I heard Santa's stuff's been on back order, so you never know. Um, I have one needle, was looking for some recommendations. Her brother was the best to switch to. Um, now, I'm not gonna say brother's the best. I'm gonna say brother is what I work with. I don't want any of the industrial size ones because I wanna stay home-based. Um, I don't plan on getting like a, a stitch warehouse. I do have a warehouse where I store a lot of my blanks. I don't plan on going to like big, big storefront. So this works for me. Um, it's a six needle. If you go any higher than this, there's a 10 needle that works very, very similarly to this one. This is the PR655. A lot of them, if you get this now, a lot of people are finding these used on Marketplace. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of my Academy members, y'all, oh, I don't think she's on here. Do y'all remember when we did the whole touch and agree and we decided that by the end of the year, you know, we're just going to all touch and agree that if you, if you were going to get a new machine, it was going to happen. It was just going to come to you, you guys. I finally, finally, finally just kind of started paying attention in the Academy and asking, hey, who's gotten a new machine? Because Amelia just recently got her machine. She's, um... She's an academy member, and she was also a mentor student of mine. She recently got a multi needle. She got a six needle. So, I was we were able to see a lot of the. I'm getting a new machine. I'm believing for a new machine. I'm speaking it into existence for a new machine, y'all. I think it was at least seven or eight of them that night in the academy that has gotten a new machine since we did that that day. So we probably need to do that again at the beginning of the year. Just kind of set our goals. You know, Academy, you know, we always do our goals at the beginning of the year so that we can make sure we're on track for what we're doing and just keeping up with, with what we need to be doing to get to where we want to be. Uh, and then Carol just got her new, her second baby lock 10 needle. See, y'all, and, and Carol is in the Academy. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I am saying. I'm just saying. You know, a lot of a lot of them when they get into the academy and start working and start learning and start doing and start showing people what you can do. Look what happens. Look what happens. 
So remember, I wanted my she shed. I didn't get my she shed, but I did get my warehouse space. So that was a big one for me. I have an industrial machine in my house. Woo woo! Way to go, Jeff. Um, but yeah, I I used to want one of like the fifteen needle and stuff like that, but I don't want to do a lot of stitching. I love 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 to teach, so um, I want to stay within the machine level that a lot of my academy members have. But to be honest, you know, Latasha got a buy the the buy machine, and that one is super awesome. So. My dad said, I told Santa to send you that new machine for 2020. See, see y'all, see? My dad just said that he told Santa to send me the new machine for 2020. So I told y'all, it's not, it's not too late. And there's Amelia. Hey, Amelia, I was just talking about you and your new machine that we all touched and agreed about. We touched and agreed upon. And you got it. Woo -woo. As a matter of fact, Amelia got two new machines this year. Um, she's being modest. She wound up getting two new machines this year. Who who does that? Who gets two new machines in one year? Academy members. That's who. All right. Um, do you have any other questions? Do you have any other questions? Any other questions? I'm going to sip my right nog. Good point. So Latasha said that she loves it and it was a game changer for the holidays. Um, I totally agree. So some of my Academy members that were here locally, y'all, usually I can reach out and say, hey, I need this order stitched. Can you get to it? They could not, they were all booked and busy. Busy, a lot of my members, they were busy. They had orders, they had orders on top of orders on top of orders. Let me not also act like that that was the norm. Because a lot of holidays passed by and we had to have some meetings. We, ha we had some real meetings after the holidays and we had to admit, who blew it? Who blew it? Like, who did not do what they wanted to do and what they needed to do for this holiday to get the orders, get the money, get, the, get whatever they needed, get the recognition in their community to be known that they stitched? We had... Easter wasn't it Easter Fourth of July some of those we had to we had a whole come come to Jesus meeting and it was like who blew it and they raised their hand and I they admitted that they blew it but guess what something tells me that the ones that blew it back in the beginning of the year they didn't blow it for the holiday so we haven't had a meeting yet but I'm gonna find out and something tells me they did not blow it they stayed booked and busy um, especially a lot of the ones that had the multi needle ones I could go on and on and on bragging about them. Um, I will tell on myself. See, t yeah, Tammy was like, I'm gonna tell on myself she blew it, but she came back and made a made a big comeback. Tammy would hop on the call and was like, I have a ton of hats to do and and beanies. Next on my list is in brilliance to be able to do BX. I I got I gotta agree with you, Latasha. In brilliance, that was my first selling point. Like, I, there's still some some items that I do on there that I'm like, ooh. This would be so much easier in So What Pro, but that BX portion of it. So What Pro does have a BX, um, a BX feature similar to it, but you have to map it out first. Um, you really have to map it out. Um, just had one guy turn away who was mad Christmas Eve. I couldn't get it done till three. Yeah, um, I I posted in the academy a little blurb of what they can message people back and say if they were getting orders like so close to Christmas because I did advise them to go up on their stitch fee for for holiday fees I typically double my stitch fees um, but I didn't take a lot of orders this year because I did not want to be overwhelmed because my mom was here and I just realized um, Jamie asked me how my mom was doing I think you may have missed it earlier she's doing great um, she has upgraded from the walker to now she's gonna be doing trials walking on a cane from her um, from her total knee replacement y'all and she has already said oh I'm gonna get my other one done by the summertime Whew, we'll see okay we'll see but um but she's doing great but yeah but I kept my orders really 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 light really light can you use BX fonts on the free version yes you can you can use the BX fonts on the free version um yeah, you, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Okay. 
So did I miss anything? Glad she's doing great. Me too, Amelia. Like she's she's the bomb. Yeah. Every all of her care team, they are all like super proud and super like, what in the world? Like who who are you? Who recovers this well? She does. Hey Elliot. All right, so if you're just joining us, this is what we did today. This is what we did today. Let me turn the light back up. It was, it was super burning up. It was like almost 80 degrees here in Georgia, hence the, the sweaty edges and stuff. And I, I'm going to wash my hair, but it was hot. It's hot. Okay. All right, we'll do. Um... This was for my sister, Crafty Bee. It's on her craft bag. We did not stitch the pocket shut. It's inside there. Inside, inside, inside. Mm -hmm. And then, who said, same temp in Texas. Y'all, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. What is going on with this, this heat? Um, but yeah, she just throw it over her shoulder. Booyah, 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 booyah. So I'm glad you all tuned in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of 2022. And enjoy your loved ones. I really, really hope you all had a good holiday season so far. I hope you have a very wonderful new year. Um, Academy, we're off, but I might go live. I might, I mean, because I miss y'all. I miss y'all. I miss y'all. But I'm going to go. I'm going to wash my hair. Do a little something to that. Finish my eggnog. 2021. Oh, I said, did I say that wrong? I hope I had a, a great 2021. And I will see you all in 2022. Did I say that wrong? I think I did. But um, congratulations to everyone that got a new machine this year. I am super duper proud of you. If you did not get a machine next year, let's do it real quick. We're just going to touch and agree. Stretch your hands out. And we are just going to touch and agree. And I want you to say whatever machine it is that you want. And I am believing that you will get that new machine next year. I am believing that you will put in the work to get that machine. I believe that once you get that machine, you will continue to put in the work to make money with that machine or to make the items that your loved one needs with the machine. No matter what your desire is, no matter what your goal is with that new machine, I believe that you will do it, okay? I believe, I believe, I believe that you will do it. Thank you, Alexis, for being our pusher. You're welcome. I don't know how to do anything else. That's all. That's all I got. Just believe it. Name it and claim it. All right, so remember, you guys, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to, has to be pretty. I kind of wish I had, like, planned a better message or something. This is this is literally our last live of the year. I was gone. I was away from the house, and I was this close, and then I saw the message come through. I was like, oh, I can't. I mean, I knew I was going to go live today, but I, in the back of my head, I was like, oh, it would be so great to just be able to stay out, stay gone, or either go back to the house and just relax. But I was like, I can't miss the last live of the year. I just can't do that. Can't, can't leave y'all hanging. And then the next one, I may be out of town next week, but I will do my live. I will pack up my stuff and I will still do my live from out of town. Don't you all, don't you worry. Um, I will be in driving distance, so I will still be able to do my live from live on location. All right. I'll tell y'all where I am when I get there. Uh, what's the temperature up there, Elliot? That's what I should have done. I should have asked everybody what's their temperature. I, I hold that thought, y'all. Oh my gosh, this makes sense, y'all. It's eighty degrees in my house because you know I had the heat on all before, and then it got warm today all of a sudden, so I didn't turn the air on. It's eighty degrees. I just looked at my thermostat. It's 80 degrees in here. It is it, So if y'all see me and I'm like all flush and I'm just, when y'all are rewatching this and y'all are like, what is going on with her? Why is she glistening? 
It's hot. It's 80 degrees in my house. Cold 40s. Mila said she had to turn her AC on. So I have a rule. I and it's it's my own personal rule. I know, I know, I know. It's my personal rule. But once I turn the heat on for the for the season, I don't want to have to turn the air on. So I wait until the very last minute to turn the heat on. And then if I have to, I just kind of turn it to where it doesn't keep clicking on, or I'll try to open windows or open doors. But this might, if if tomorrow is like this, we turn that air on. It's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. 79 in Louisiana. What is going on? Something's got to give. Something's got to give. It's 80 degrees, y'all. Let me go cool off, okay? I will see you all later. Academy members, I will see you not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. I will see everybody else. Um, oh, mentorship students also. You guys, we've already scheduled. We've already gone through your times. Um, and then, so sweet Sundays. I'll see you all next Sunday. It will be 2022. Can y'all believe it? And we will reconvene for another year of fun and excellence. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Remember, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. It's in the high 30s in Chicago. Oh, I could never. I'm complaining about 80 degrees, but I don't want 30s or 40s right now. All right, bye. Can y'all tell I don't really want to go? I don't really want to go, but I got to go. Gotta go. Okay. Bye.